Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Bubs here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a unlock all glitch that you guys can use for camos, XP, blueprints, skins, operators, all that good stuff. Everything's gonna be in this video. This is pretty much like a update video for everything. There will be a couple new stuff, so stay tuned. I am out of town right now, so I am editing on their own, so I hope you guys appreciate that. If you guys want this blueprint duped over, I'll pick a couple winners to enter. Just drop a like, uh, drop a comment, and I'll be picking those winners once this video hits 515 likes. Enter the bi-weekly Orion Camel or the Nuke Skin giveaway to enter. Just drop us up with post notifications and drop a comment down below. If you guys need help with their guys' camos like Polyatomic, Orion, all the Mastery camos, or even the Nuke Skin, then make sure you guys go check out Mitch. So if you guys need help with those things, then you guys should get help from there. I also do my giveaways through them, so the links will uh, be down below if you guys want to check that out. Here's these timestamps to everything in the video. Now, everyone that plays Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ will be covered in this video, so check this out, and there's also a couple new things. Now all you want to do is start up plunder quads. Now when you guys enter into a game, legit all you have to do is go over to a most wanted contract, grab it, and then uh, just pretty much kill yourself. So have a nade in your guys' loadout every time. Now after you guys grab that most wanted and then kill yourself, uh, the game's going to trip out and it's going to think that you guys completed the most wanted contract and it's going to give you guys the XP for your guys' weapon as well that you guys had in hand and also your guys' level as well. Now you guys can keep doing this over and over again in this footage. I pretty much maxed out a single weapon in legit 5 minutes. I just went around the map collecting most wanted contracts and then killing myself with my nade and that's legit all you have to do. I went from level 1 to 27 in about 5 to 6 minutes in this footage. So for this, all you need to do is remove the laser, don't put that first. First, put one of these on the under barrel and then go over to optic, put any optic at all. And now go over to the laser, this one right here, and then equip one of these skins of those lasers. Uh, you guys can uh, go back and see what laser it was, but you guys have to equip a skin. Now, as you guys can see, we have the iron sight sniper right here. It's actually pretty cool to use in game as well. For this, it's super simple. Equip the HCR, the uh, LMG. Equip with that. Equip any mode that you guys want. And then all you have to do is put a Merc foregrip on it in the under barrel. And you guys will see that half the gun is glitched out. It's half invisible when we go into the firing range, which is actually pretty cool. You guys will see that shortly. You guys can see that right here. Uh, the middle part is completely missing, which is pretty cool to do. This one's a quick tip, as you guys can see, you cannot equip a muzzle on this gun, so equip a barrel first, and now you guys can equip that muzzle if you guys want. For this, we're gonna use the STB. All you have to do is go over to the under barrel and then equip this right here. Now, we're gonna head over to the uh, firing range, and you guys will see that the middle part is invisible, just like the LMG. This one's actually really cool as well, as you guys can see. This glitch, like I said, this is the new after patch. So all you want to do is put the X13 auto in the secondary class and now equip the akimbo pistol. Now head over to the barrel, go over to the impact point barrel and this only works if you guys have a skin for that barrel pretty much. So a lot of you guys will have it, most likely everyone does have it. A lot of those barrels do carry over to other guns. So now you guys can select that skin version of the impact barrel and put it on. Those two attachments together, that's fine. If you guys go in game, you guys can see on this screen that they are invisible and you guys know you guys did the glitch right all you guys want to do is load up into dmz put the weapon that you guys need the attachments on in your guys's loadout uh press confirm and pretty much just start up the dmz match uh, when you guys spawn in you guys want to head over to a buy station now if you guys didn't know by the buy stations there's also a station where you guys can equip attachments so you guys want to head over there each attachment does cost 3000 uh, cash so that's the only downside so you need to collect loot and dmz and get 3000 cash for each attachment that you guys want to unlock 
after you do that all you guys have to do is go into that station buy the attachment that you guys want unlocked and equip it so buy that attachment also each game the attachments are random as you guys can see some of the attachments are locked and you guys uh, can't select them and some of them you guys can you guys will see that this weapon that i have is such a low level that none of the attachments are going to be unlocked after you guys equip the attachments that you guys want or one or multiple then you guys want to exfil with that weapon once you guys are fully exfilled and you guys leave and uh, you guys are just pretty much done with the DMZ match, you guys can go over to that loadout and now save it as a custom mod and there you guys go. You guys are done with this glitch. The keyboard, these are the uh, button shortcuts that you guys uh, need to use. So they're going to be on the screen right now as you guys can see and you guys will also be using the arrow buttons on the keyboard. The arrow buttons are only needed if we have to go up and down as you guys will see in the footage. So as you guys can see we do not have polyatomic or orion on this weapon and we're going to do uh, poly first and then orion. So back up to this screen and now pull up the screen where it uh, gives you the option to save it as a custom mod by pressing L2 with the controller. Now with the right analog stick move it to the top. Now press the PSN home button on your controller and then press it again and now use the corresponding key button to back out. So in this instant, the first step, we would have to press the backspace button so to back out to the screen and you guys want to do that for every single step as you guys can see. So press the PSN button and now press the PSN button again and now we got to switch it. So we're going to be going to a weapon that has the camo that you want to transfer over. So you will be using in this instant a Q or the left arrow button or right arrow button uh, in any instant to get to the other weapon and you guys gotta keep doing that over and over again so press the uh, PSN home button and then press it again and right when you guys press it press the key button corresponding to the step to get to the gun that has the camo you guys want to transfer over for example right here I would press the PSN home button press it again and right after I press it I would press the space button because it corresponds to X to get to the camo screen from this screen, save the uh, weapon already as a custom mod. Now go over to the camo that you guys want and select it. Uh, that camo has to be on the other weapon. So pretty much you guys will transfer over camos. Now back out. Now update your uh, custom mod. Save it as a custom mod so you guys never lose it. And it's always in your guys' armory. Now you guys will see that it's there. It's there to use. And you guys will also see right here. It shows that I don't have the camo but it is selected controller one that's the account that has a skin that you guys want to dupe over to the other account controller two is going to be the account that doesn't have the skin so on controller one the first account that has the skin you guys want to go over to dmz go over to active duty in the second slot put any operator that isn't the operator uh, that has the skin you guys want to dupe over with controller two which is the account that doesn't have the skin you guys want to go and do the same thing uh, head over to the active duty but put the operator in the first first operator slot and make sure you guys don't put the operator that you guys want the skin from that's one of the most important things you guys have to make sure you guys don't put any of the operator that you want the skin from in both accounts prior to doing and starting the glitch after that restart your game fully and when you guys get to this screen right here you guys want to press x with the second account and log in fully now we're gonna connect both accounts into DMZ and we're just gonna glitch that out. So on the DMZ mode at the top, press X at the same time or A on both controllers to get it connected. We luckily got it the first time. It might take you guys a few tries. Now with controller two, head over to active duty and select the first operator. When you get to this screen with the first controller, press X and in the second slot, uh, select any operator slash skin that you guys want. And we're gonna be doing the row skin. So we're gonna select that. Now equip it with the first controller and now with uh, this screen right here with your second controller equip that skin that you just equipped with the first controller. Now you guys can back out and you guys can see that skin is in our DMZ uh, loading screen as well as the Warzone one when uh, from this screen right here just disconnect the controller and now you guys can go over to Warzone right here and you guys will see that's here as well. And just make sure you guys do uh, the navigation through the top screen. So if you guys do it from the bottom right here where I'm showing right now and I go into DMZ from here, the skin will disappear. So you guys have to do it from the top. So at the very top where it says DMZ, Warzone quads and stuff like that, you guys have to select it from there. 
Like I said, this is the new after patch. So all you want to do is put the X13 auto in the secondary class and now equip the akimbo pistol. Now head over to the barrel, go over to the impact point barrel and this only works if you guys have a skin for that barrel pretty much. So a lot of you guys will have it, most likely everyone does have it. A lot of those barrels do carry over to other guns. So now you guys can select that skin version of the impact barrel and put it on. Now normally you guys cannot put an impact barrel on the X13 while the akimbo is equipped. This is the new after patch to it to do that. Now you guys are probably wondering what the camo part is. So basically with this you guys can combine camos. So pretty much you guys can put two camos onto one gun like Polyatomic and Orion. As you guys saw when I went to the firing range uh, the uh, pistol wasn't invisible and it's supposed to be after you guys put those two attachments together. That's fine. If you guys go in game you guys can see on the screen that they are invisible and you guys know you guys did the glitch right. So you can either use this as an invisible gun uh, slash a camo combining thing. So pretty much the camo that you put on the X13 and the attachments, that camo and those attachments uh, will carry over to the primary gun. For example, we're going to have a sight on the X13 with Polytomic and it's going to transfer over to our primary gun and that gun might have like Orion or Gold and the Polytomic on that sight will carry over to the primary gun as you guys will see what I mean. It's going to clear up with the footage if you guys are confused. So put the uh, camo on the X13 that you want to combine with the primary gun camo. So for example, in the primary slot, we have a weapon. And if that had gold and then the X13 had polyatomic, the combined camos will be gold and polyatomic uh, together pretty much. So those attachments from the X13 carry over to the primary gun with polyatomic. This is the only and new way to do this. It's actually super simple to do. Like it only takes like two buttons to click. And yeah, pretty much that's how you do it. So uh, this does work in uh, first person mode, but only other players can see it. As you guys will see, you won't be able to see it, but other people will and they're going to be tripping out. If you guys play in third person, then you guys will also be able to see it. Now, mainly like uh, all these other players in your lobby are going to be tripping out. They're going to be thinking you're modding and they're going to be like, how did he get that? So it's actually pretty cool to do. Also, this does work in Warzone. Now with controller 1, sign into the dummy account and come to this screen right here. With controller 2, log into the account that has the stuff that you guys want to dupe over. After that, just press X to uh, log in the second account into Modern Warfare. Now press on Modern Warfare with the first controller that's on the dummy account. Go over to uh, Weapons with the second controller, the account that has the stuff you want to dupe over. Go over to Weapons and then in any class law, select the Blueprint, the paid variant in any class. It doesn't matter. Uh, right now we're going to be doing it on the M13. From here, all you have to do is press L2 to bring up the screen to save it as a custom mod. With the right analog stick, just move that uh, pop-up to the left, uh, like you guys see on the screen. Now you guys want to connect your keyboard into your guys' console. Once you guys do that, uh, pretty much just put that keyboard and log it into the account, the dummy account, so the first controller, log it into that account. Now with your keyboard, press the F1 button, head over to a store by using the right arrows with the keyboard and then select that. When you're on this screen, press the escape button and now head down to where it says ground war with the keyboard and select that. When it says disconnect the second controller with your keyboard, press yes. On this screen, press the escape button on your keyboard and go down and head over to Invasion, which is the second one. Now you guys want to enter that. Now you want to log out of the second controller. So for us, uh, press the PSN button on the second controller, head down and then log out of that. Now with the second controller, press the home button and now log into the account that doesn't have anything. So the account you're going to be duping over to.
now with that second controller you guys can rename it uh anything at all we're just gonna rename a glitch and then save it as a custom mod and now you guys are done with the glitch you guys will know if you guys did it right all you have to do is restart the game and then log in with the other account so the account that doesn't have anything log in and then check we're gonna do that right now Now we're gonna go over to our weapons, into our class, select any class, and now uh, we did the M13, so we're gonna head over to the M13, and now you guys can see that variant is saved as glitch. There you guys go, you guys are completely done with the glitch, and that's how you guys get free paid variants for absolutely free without doing anything. This is a glitch and also a feature combined into one if you guys didn't know in dmz if you guys extract with the gun you guys will be able to uh, unlock it so uh, one person needs to spawn in with that gun you guys want and then the other players will all get it the glitches every single player getting it so you guys want to go down tell that player to revive you when you guys will get revived right here you guys want to pull up your backpack and then drop it i'll play it again or slow it down for you guys after that tell that person uh the other player to revive you and now that weapon that you guys dropped will be on the ground and also in your guys's hands you guys can do that again so every single player in your guys's dmz match can extract with that weapon for example in this uh footage we did it with the intervention so if we had all our uh squad fill on like four people in our squads every single one of them will get the intervention and you guys can exfil with it also if you guys add players in game as well after you guys have it in your guys' hands, extract with it and it will be unlocked. And this is also a weapon dupe glitch in DMZ. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, I'm out of town. So I made this unlock uh, glitch where you guys can use it for everything. Levels, camos, skins, operators, blueprints, all that good stuff. Even DLC weapons and attachments. Use these as soon as possible. A lot of them will be getting patched. If you guys want, just do it for fun. Also, if you guys want this blueprint on screen, drop a like. Let's get 515 likes. And I'll be picking a few winners to dupe that over to. Now, drop us up with post notifications. We're on the road to 150,000 subscribers. And that would help out a ton. Share this video with all your friends and family. Join the Discord down below if you guys need help with any of these. Follow me on IG and Twitter. Ask me questions over there. Do not hesitate. This has been your boy Bubs. And I'm out. Peace. Going, but I know I can't keep flowing Cause the Lord he gave me words The paper I can earn